When I was a kid, I mean, I grew up in a Christian home, um, great parents. Uh, we went through some tough times. Uh, we didn't we didn't really have a lot when I was growing up. You know, his money was pretty tight, and at some point. I just remember being around this area and you know of course we saw the Y being built and um, at that point my dad was able to get us a membership um, to go together and we would come here and work out and um, you know it was really it was just such a great experience when I was in college I guess I was kind of the typical poor college student <laughs> had uh, had pretty much nothing. It would be, it'd be a privilege if my wife and I had twenty dollars to go out to dinner on a on a weekend. So, um, I found out that there was a financial assistance program for you know for people who qualified. Um, so every year during college, I would I would write a letter uh, to the decision committee about the financial aid. I remember getting the letter saying that I was going to be gifted with this and. It, it was really, you know, if you've ever had a moment where you're overwhelmed with thankfulness, the why was there for me. There were people that were donating, members of the community uh, that were helping me and, and maybe having no idea even who I was, um, but it made an impact. It made an impact on me. And to be able to give back, it's, it's a really cool thing. I would say if, if a person was feeling as though they were on the fence, I would certainly encourage that person to, to take that step because um, there are people that are in such need in our community uh, that don't have the financial ability to be a part of this on their own. There can be a partnership that comes out of, out of giving like that. And then you see people's lives become enriched. So to give like that, um, it, can be, it can be tough. It can, it can feel like a stretch, but goodness, it's such a blessing to those who receive it.